Okay, I'm going to go over some important terms regarding groundwater and uh, its formation. Uh, here we'll start off with precipitation or just, you know, rain. Precipitation. precipitation. Um, and so the precipi precipitation or rain just comes to the surface of the ground and the ground will absorb it. And the precipitation will penetrate and get soaked into the ground. This term is called infiltration. Infiltration. Now the water is going to continue to flow um, because of the quality that these uh, substances have because they are permeable permeable, meaning that water can go through them. All right. Now, you know, the smaller particles have less permeability. The larger particles are going to have bigger spaces called pores, and that's going to have more permeability. Now, the water is going to trickle down, trickle down, until finally it reaches a spot where it can't flow any further. And we end up here and let me draw an arrow here to the aquaclude. Aquaclude. Oops. Clude. And the aquaclude is impermeable. Permeable. Meaning that the water cannot pass through, it stops right there. That's the stop sign. So the water is going to come down, trickle through and eventually come to a place where it cannot flow any longer and the water is going to collect. So let's say the water gets to about this height and fills in all these empty spaces between these large rocks. Okay, oops, sorry about that. Let's just fix that. And so this area where the water is filling the spaces this is the, I'll change it to red again. This is the zone of saturation, where the water is saturating and filling up all those empty pore spaces. All right, so we have precip precipitation, infiltration, going through permeable rock, and it's stopped by the aquaclude. Um, the area where we have all this groundwater, this is the groundwater, that's called the zone of saturation. And then the top level of the zone of saturation right here, that is called the water, the water table. The water table. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six important terms right now. Um, and, and one final term that I want to um, point out to you is something called the aquaclude, or I guess a couple, um, not the aquaclude, but the aquifer. And if we look at this area right here with all the big rocks, all right, this is the area where water can collect and can travel. It has all the big spaces. It's, it's comprised of a lot of big rocky material and the pore spaces allow the allows the water to flow. You can see here though that this aquifer is only half full. All right, But that doesn't change the fact that this whole area from here all the way around that is capable of holding water. I'm trying to find a good color for that and think of where to put it. This whole area, this whole area from here to here where the groundwater can collect, that is our aquifer. Aquifer. Okay, so the aquifer is the layer where water can flow freely. All right, so I know, I mean, there's a lot of terminology and, um, you know, looking at it now, um, <laughs> it looks kind of like a mess, 
So if you didn't get all the facts and you're still confused, I suggest you go back to the beginning of the video and go through it step by step. Um, have the definitions that we did in, in class handy to you and hopefully um, that will um, clear things up. Alright, thanks for watching.